this is Charles Bocart. Welcome. The moon is feminine and has her own light. We've been told all our lives that the moon's light is a reflection of the light from the sun. For example, in uh, Wikipedia, and I don't like Wikipedia as a source because it's um, it's a bunch of lies and uh, and they omit information. But in this case, it's a good one to use because it, it, it's an example of a lie. And, and in Wikipedia, it says. Moonlight is a light that reaches Earth from the moon, consisting mostly of sunlight with some starlight and earthlight reflected from those portions of its surface which the sun's light strikes. Also, we have an example from space.com. So here we are at uh, space.com and when I looked at this I had to laugh I had to I had to chuckle because here we got moon facts you know and before I looked into the idea that the earth uh, could actually be flat and not spinning and not a globe or not a sphere I would have come here and I would have read this and uh, for, for the most part would have uh, said okay um, the light of the moon is a reflection from the sun and uh, as we scroll down here I want to bring your attention to this point right here we see either the full moon the half moon or no moon because the moon reflects sunlight how much of it how much of the light we see depends on the moon's position in relation to the earth and the sun. And uh, we could spend a lot of time here. Everything on this page is nothing but a bunch of male cow dung. You know, once our eyes have been opened and uh, we can actually see all the lies that they, we've been told all our life, you begin to realize that just about everything we've been told uh, comes off of this uh, cart of, of cow dung I took while I was in India. And, uh, you know, the, the sun is masculine and has his own light. And I'm going to show you from scripture where the moon is feminine and has her own light. Uh, the word moon occurs 51 times in 51 verses in the King James Version. And here's only a few of those. Genesis 1.14 And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good and the evening and the morning were the fourth day. Now let's come back here to uh, space.com and let's scroll down and let's find out what the scientists they want us to believe. And uh, this, don't forget, these are facts. Facts, folks, facts. That's just what they want us to believe is the truth. How did the moon form? There are various theories about how the moon was created. I, I like how they use the word created. But recent evidence indicates it formed from a when a huge collision tore a chunk of Earth away. And I, you know, I want to contrast this with uh, if you, you believe that God, that there is a creator, as, it, uh, as I just read in scripture, uh, a lot of people, the evolutionists and the scientists and and uh, the other atheists and the other non 
the, the other people who do not believe in the Bible and do not believe Scripture, the, the, the Bible is a myth, they will, they will laugh at you when you say that God created the heavens and the earth and the sun and the moon and the stars and the earth. They'll, they'll laugh at you that you, you, are, you are nuts and you're crazy. But here they have their various theories about how the moon was created. And the leading explanation at this time for how the moon formed was that a giant impact knocked off raw ingredients for the moon off the primitive molten earth and into orbit. Now just think about that for a minute. How, how ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. And they have no, no idea. Uh, they, it's a theory. And scientists, here's the priest of the new religion, scientism. Scientists the high priests have suggested the impact ore was roughly 10% of the mass of the Earth about the size of Mars. Because Earth and the Moon are so similar in composition. Now, how they know that, I don't know, because they never went to the Moon. And the Moon is supposed to be 242,000 miles away from the Earth. And, and that's a lie. Uh, researchers have concluded that the impact must have occurred about 95 million years ago. <laughs> I mean, they just pull these uh, these uh, years and dates out of their out of their posterior, and then they they they, uh, they want us to believe their facts, okay? And people come, and people believe this stuff. But I can't uh, uh, I can't go to the Bible and quote the Bible and uh, as fact. But uh, these people believe this. So after about 95 million years after the formation of the solar system, give or take 32 million years. I mean, we're talking some big numbers here, people. And here's a bigger number. The solar system is roughly 4.6 billion years old. Billion. You know, it's, it's just ridiculous. And how people can believe this stuff, okay, it's just, it's just amazing. Although the large impact theory dominates the scientific community discussion, and then blah, 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 blah. They go on and, and they talk about this as if it's uh, uh, our reality. You know, it's what a joke. So the moon uh, is feminine and has her own light, and I and the evidence that I give, and it's, it's no worse. <laughs> it's no worse than those facts we saw on that uh, page, uh, uh, space.com. Anyway, Isaiah 13.10, For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in his going forth. There's the masculine pronoun. And the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And Ezekiel 32.7, And when I shall put thee out, I will cover the heaven and make the stars thereof dark. I will cover the sun with a cloud, and the moon shall not give her light. Matthew 24, 29, and the Lord Jesus Christ himself speaking. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, and we're getting awful darn close to those days, folks. Shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the star shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Also again in Mark 13, 24, but in those days, and where, then again, that's the last days, after that tribulation, the sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light. Now, some of you may be thinking, oh, come on, her light just means the moon is reflecting the sun's light and does not possess light in and of itself. But you know what? Words have meanings. So let's take a look at a couple of meanings of these words. The word her means of or relating to her or herself, especially as possessor, agent, or object of an action. Her house, her research. If, uh, if a um, 
person turns in a research paper uh, and she puts her name on it, it's assumed to be her research, not someone else's. And that came from Webster. Here we have another uh, definition. The possessive case of she, used as an attributive adjective. Her coat is the one on the chair. I'm sorry about her leaving. And the word attribute or attributive is an adjective pertaining to or having the character of attribution or an attribute. So let's have a look at what attribute is. It's a verb and it uh, uh, one meaning to regard as resulting from a specified cause considered as caused by something indicated usually followed by two she attributed his bad temper to, to ill health. And number two, to consider as a quality or characteristic of the person, thing, in this case, the moon, group, etc. Indicated, he, uh, he attributed intelligence to his colleagues. So here we see that it's a character or char a quality or characteristic of the thing. Uh, in question. So I wanted to show, and uh, many of you may already be aware of this, but the moon is feminine and has her own light. And the moon's light is cold light as compared to the sunlight. But that fact, and it is a fact, will be the subject of a future presentation. I want to encourage you all to embrace the love of the truth. And I want to thank you for watching. Please, if you do, like. Also, subscribe and share. And your comments are welcome. I encourage you also to visit charlesfolkart.com and Key Rex Replies WordPress for more related information. See ya.